Hi, Internet viewers. We're back again. I just want to show you, I'm going to give you a close-up, I hope I ain't too close, of the masking, or the bib, however you want to call it, on the face of the cardinal. It's in that area there. You can see that this does still have a beak coming up into here. I painted it all black twice, so I made sure that we had a black black. I'm going to give you both sides of this so you could see this readily. And uh, even though I know it's a little misleading when you see the, the red coming through on the beak, but no big deal. And uh, so uh, we are trying to cover that much of it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the beak and I want to show you how to do that as well. So I will move the camera down for the beak and we will proceed with the beak and uh, bear with me on that again. Okay. Thank you. All right, back again. Here we go uh, with that orange. It's actually a red. I remembered I mentioned that to you before. This was cadmium red light, it's called. But if you, you know, these are all different in between colors of reds and what have you. But if you have orange, uh, you can utilize that. And uh, then what I'm going to do with the orange is I'm going to mix a little bit of the red we had that we used uh, for the bird on the body. And I'll, I'll put a little bit of red, just a little bit here, over in this cup. And I'll rinse my brush out so it doesn't contaminate the other colors too much. Then I'm gonna get uh, the yellow, of uh, yellow. If I said yellow before on my thing, I meant to say orange. Getting dyslexic, not even dyslexic. I'm going to dab that in and stir that up. And I will probably just put a little dab of red again in there, like so. And then what I'm going to do, I still have a little bit of white here. And I'm just going to get a little bit, just a little bit. And I'm going to mix that in there just to lighten it up a little bit. And I'm looking at it, and it still looks a little pinkish to me. So I'm going to go in with the orange again and mix that in there. You just have to play with it a little bit until you get the right color. And uh, let's see how... Eh, that's not too bad. What we could do if, when we're applying this one to the beak, if the color doesn't look exactly right, we could add a little bit of white to our, our, our beak and stuff like that to accomplish what we need to get to. So let me show you how we do it. I'm going to go with the smaller brush because I feel as though I have more control. And again, I'm going to hold the bird rather than use the handle. I told you a lot of times I do this. And what I'm going to do is get this mix here and I'm going to apply it to the beak and we want to come in and get right up to the black but we really watery here but that's okay let me come back with a little bit more of the orange I'm going to play with this just a little bit the beak is is almost like an orange and I don't want it as red as red. Yeah, let me, I'm going to go in with some heavier orange here and try that on there, like so. Okay. Now I've got, I don't know if you see how wet it is. I'm going to clean my brush off so I have it under control here. I do not want a real glob of, of uh, paint. 
I want everything to be controlled. So I'm going to come back and paint this. And get some more of the orange. And I'm trying to come right up very carefully to the black. Come around this way. And you want to steady yourself too when you're doing this so that you have control of this. And it comes right on up to the top here. It's starting to come together. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get just a hint of white on my brush. And I'm going to work that in just to see something here. I'm going to put that in. You can see it really lightens it up. And at the same time, I'm going to give it a coat very lightly all the way around of that lighter coat under there. Let me get a little bit, just a hint of white. You can see it's very little on the brush. And I just blend it all. I'm sort of mixing while I'm applying. And then, once I get this all coated, I want to come in with just a little bit of red over top of it. Just like so. But the red, and you're just getting a little bit of it, just a little. And I move that all the way around. It's still going to look orangey, which is where it leans more than anything. If I had to just paint this straight out, I would go with orange with it, just a hint of red in it. And... Uh, that's pretty close there. Now, when it dries, I will give it a second coat. And then uh, we're not done yet, but uh, that will uh, get us going as far as the beak. We have to put some washes on here to tone the feathers down and... Uh, if we missed anything, uh, we'll, we'll do a little touch up. I'm looking at uh, an area right up. Let me rinse this brush out here. And I have an area here after the beak dries. I'm going to come in. I see a little white sticking out right underneath the, the beak area on the bottom here. So I didn't get that. But uh, if you notice... Uh, the eyes completely like fogged up with the black. So one way you can clean that out is just get a damp brush just with water and then just go in and clean it out. And you'll see the paint will move right off. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Just rinse the brush out with water. I'm going to come in here and um, it acts like a membrane on the glass, uh, the acrylic paint. So I can wipe that right off and now you get a bright eye again and just that way. Now this beak, 
looked pretty well coated. But what I'm going to do uh, before I come back on the next video, I am going to uh, maybe touch it up if I need to. And I will uh, mention that to you. But uh, right now it's a little on the bright side, but uh, I, uh, I have one more mix I have to go on there that I'm not going to do now because it's still wet. I want to wait until it dries and then I'll show you uh, as we proceed on where uh, the mix I'm going to use next will be like a burnt umber or no, uh, raw umber, excuse me. And we will tone down the bird and what have you with that. But we will also come in and enhance the beak a little bit too. So, uh, hope you got something out of this right now. It's really wet and I'm just going to let it dry. Uh, I can, uh, push it with a hair dryer, but I think I'm going to touch it up a little bit right in here. I think this is coming up a little light. This is almost where it should be. I think I'm just, let me go back and I'll just touch this with the, ooh, had some black. See that? When I was cleaning the eye out, it had a little remnant. So I'll rinse that off. I'll get a little of the red. I hope you can see that. I tend to drift off on the camera. But over, I'm getting these black marks coming off of here. Didn't clean my brush out real well. Let me come back. Play this game. There we go. In fact, I should just leave this alone. Uh, I was doing good until I touched it. <laughs> so I will just touch it once more. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to give it two coats. So uh, that I'll try to show you what the final will look like. But you got to play with it a little bit, but you got to let go sometime too. You got. You just can't keep on uh, attacking it uh, and let it dry and then come back and hit it a second coat. You don't always get uh, get it on the first. And you can see it right in that area there. It's, it's still like white. So I'm going to let it dry and then uh, I'll come back in and uh, give it a second coat. And I think we should be there then. And then I'll come back and uh, revisit you on the next video and, uh, hope you got something out of this one too. Uh, we will finalize that beak very soon here, and then we'll go on with the rest of the body here. So, uh, I hope you, again, you got something out of it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And, uh, if you would subscribe to my, uh, channel, I'd appreciate that as well. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks again. Bye.